lean, mean, tension to the edge of your seat machine. This reminds me of movies like Jaws, Crawl, and The Grey a little bit. It's most similar to Crawl being confined to mostly one location and focusing on a dysfunctional family dynamic to good but sometimes iffy results. Unlike Jaws and The Grey, which go above and beyond with their characters, score, and tone to create something powerfully memorable. Making horror thrillers out of ordinary animals is pretty genius as a template, and it mostly works here. Bring on all of the animal kingdom. The weak script here does the film no favors, but there's enough to connect you with the characters before the development angle sort of goes away. The few moments that it rears its head, it's welcome. I appreciated it. But at the same time, there's rampant opportunities to get to know these characters in a more meaningful way, to get into their headspace, but they rush past them, making the conclusion to the emotional arcs ring a little hollow. It feels like a lot was cut out to make this like a 90 minute action film. And with that, the runtime is so short, you'll be wondering why it felt longer than it is. That's because it's very, very skilled and making you sweat through the entire thing. The decent and memorable score is a haunting reminder of the un easiness the characters go through and it never lets up. What I most appreciate about that is how the film accomplished this tension through camera work. The cinematography and the color of it is mostly a brown or nighttime movie made worse by the dim screens at my movie theater, but it looks fairly nice. What I'm primarily referring to is the extreme use of long takes. Now, before I gush over this, let me say that they're not always stitched together perfectly and there's some jump cuts here and there. The camera gets a little lost in the scenery where I tune out after a series of long ones with minimal progression of the plot or action. These are incredibly small instances worth mentioning, but I'm so glad that they went with this style anyway. There's an absence of overcutting. The camera being still or having long, and I mean long stretches of continuous filming. The stakes, the tension, the restlessness never lets up. But why? Because the camera makes the audience point of view feel like a character within the film. When we're so focused on being with the action and the characters, just as they do, we have no idea what's lurking behind the frame behind that window, out of eyesight. At any moment, this long slice of life can be interrupted with unspeakable horror. Because the cutting lets up, the insurmountable experience of clenching your butt doesn't either. It's exhausting in the best of ways. I'm a huge fan of long takes. I know how much rehearsal and work go into getting them right. They could have phoned in the cinematography with much cheaper tactics like over editing and fast cutting, but instead they really gave it a unique visual language and that is much obliged. The animal CGI is animal CGI. It's not great, it's not terrible. You'll notice it, but it's not the worst I've ever seen. There's a thrilling sequence at the end, done as a long take, where the CGI took me out of it for a little bit of a moment before I couldn't catch my breath again for the remainder because it was so intense. The beast itself, the lion, is rarely seen for more than a few seconds as the characters mostly stay away, which was kind of smart given that the CGI didn't look great anyway. How it all resolves is a cool idea with somewhat lazy execution given the build up, I wish they would have shown more, but I appreciate the ending giving a payoff to a seemingly throwaway moment from the first act. Like I said earlier, enough to put the care into character, but not enough to truly go the extra mile. This is a thrilling monster flick with a heightened sense of tension, slick production techniques, but let down by its briefness, screenplay, and visual inconsistencies. Honestly though, it was better than I expected and I'd watch it again. I give Beast 3.5 out of 5 stars. And as we continue, remember, Always look for the good.